Hello, this is Steven with Gravitate, and today we're going to be talking about Google Optimize, what it is, what you need to do to get going, and how to launch your first experiment. So I want to start by letting you know a couple things that you'll need to either create or install to get going with Google Optimize. Now the first thing you'll need is a Google account. And if you're in 2017 like we are today, hopefully that's the case for you. Um, if not, just go to google.com and create your first Gmail account. After you do that, we'll have to create a Google Analytics login. And beyond that, installing the um, analytics script to the website, we'll get into that a little bit later as we uh, will modify that script to deploy Optimize. Um, and in addition to that, you'll need to go to optimize.google.com and create your first container. And container is really just a fancy word for which domain are you gonna be working on. In this case today, we're gonna to be creating a experiment on the gravitatedesign.com website. And lastly, installing the Optimize extension for Google Chrome. And you can just install this by Googling Optimize extension for Chrome and installing that to your browser. And this will help us preview the experiment um, prior to launch. All right, so assuming you got all of that set up, uh, I wanted to run through a little bit about what Optimize is. And really what Optimize allows you to do is um, improve the experience or conversion rate on a website. What that means is it will help you run A-B tests or multivariate tests or redirect tests on a single landing page and allow you to make changes to the styling of that page or redirect to a completely different design. So that way you can make an informed decision on design changes or conversion optimization changes. Um, really, there's a, there's a bit of research and thought that I like to put into before running an experiment, but you can just run an experiment anytime, just about on anything in the markup uh, through Optimize. It's a very cool tool. So before we get started, once you log in and create your container, you'll link your um, analytics account to Google Optimize. And once we create our experiment, we'll make sure that we're in the right view. So if you have a filtered view in analytics that filters out your IP address, um, you'd want to use that one versus your generic view for analytics. After you link the analytics um, account, you'll have to view the plugin here and it will tell you exactly where you need to copy and paste the scripts provided um, in the head section of the markup. And you can contact your developer on how to do that or get in touch with us if you need a little uh, help. So let's assume that you have installed the, um, both the page hide snippet and the modified Google Analytics snippet into the head section of the website. And we're good to go, ready to make an experiment. So let's click Create Experiment. And this one we're going to call contact button test. This URL is going to be the test URL. And in this case of doing an A-B test, it will really be considered like the editor page. What that means is we're going to be able to edit the styles and the markup um, that is specifically on the contact page. If you want to test a different page, such as the home page, you'd want to back up and delete that contact. But Today we're gonna to be focusing on the contact page um, for our A-B test. If you're doing a redirect test, you can start with one URL. And if we're creating a completely different design that has um, kind of complex markup and we're changing the order of content and adding new content in, you can go ahead and create two separate URLs that can be anything you want. And a percentage of people that land on this contact page will be redirected to the other URL and uh, through your event tracking and objectives that we set within Optimize, you'll be able to understand which one performed better. So in our case today, we're gonna to be looking at how to do an A-B test on existing styles, and we'll just click Create that test. Once we get to the experiment page, there's a couple things that we need to do. I'd like you to consider why we're running the test before we kind of dive into the creative and really be thinking critically about what um, objectives are we setting to measure this, the results. So I guess it's a funny way of saying, how do we know that the variant won? 
How do we know uh, through event tracking, uh, through page time, is it through the number of people that converted, is it a dollar amount if you have e-commerce set up? Just setting these um, objectives is really important to ensuring that we're creating measurable results and making sure that we actually have key performance indicators in the experiment that will help really direct our decision on whether or not to deploy the changes of the variant. So you can choose from a list of default goals that will be set up through the optimized system and through your goals that are set up through Google Analytics. Or you can create a custom objective based on an event or page view. So if you have like a thank you page that you'd like the um, experiment to um, kind of judge the, the, the results on, you can say page equals to or contains if you want to use regular expression, thank you, something like this. And after you um, set this rule up, what you can do is go in and say, okay, is it gonna count the goal once per session? Or if the user goes and fills the form out like 30 times within the same session, are we gonna count that? Um, and those are all decisions that you can make internally when discussing your, the objectives for the project. We'll discard those and create a variant. We're gonna call this one blue button because we're gonna test out the contact page and um, basically changing the color of the submit button to see if that will attract more users to submit the form. The last thing that I wanted to make note of here, right now by default, Optimize will set the experiment up for 50% of traffic to the original and 50% of traffic to the variant. You can have multiple variants going at once. So we can have blue button, red button, and then once again, it will provide an even distribution of uh, redirection or uh, experiment changes in terms of styles that you decide. And beyond that, if you have a very high trafficked website, you can reduce the number of uh, users that are susceptible to the experiment from 100% to something else, or go in and manually edit the um, weights of traffic to each the, the original and the variant. Lastly, this gets a little crazy down here. If you're editing a global element such as the navigation bar or footer or something like that, you may want the experiment not to necessarily load on page load based on URL, but it may be a conditional experiment where you can say something along the lines of URL contains root domain gravitate design dot com and do not put the actual page path in there because if it were um, a navigation item you'd want any user that loads up the URL that contains the root domain to be susceptible to the experiment not necessarily just on the um, one particular page so that is a little dense, and if you have any follow-up questions on that part of the uh, tool, feel free to get in contact with us, and we may end up creating another video that goes a little bit more in depth to uh, this part of the tool. So let's jump into the editor. We'll save and continue here, and what you'll get is the contact page, or whatever page you have set up within Optimize. And then you'll get this sort of what you see is what you get type of editor. The way that Google has set this up is really user friendly and really easy to change basic styles such as uh, button color and topography and that kind of thing. So we can click this button here and do a number of things. If you scroll down, you'll get a couple different options for background and we can change the background of this to something that looks like blue. That looks Pretty, pretty blue to me, so we'll call that good. Um, in addition to that, you can change the actual text of the box there by editing the element and editing the HTML is one way to go about it. Um, if you want to change uh, the size of it or the font weight where the text is centered, if you wanna go right, left, whatever you think would be more appealing to the um, 
actual user going in there. If you think that maybe they like to read things from left to right, you could do that type of thing. So real basic example of a style and, and design change there. And if you get lost and lose your little editor there, you can click on this um, little button that looks like a couple of switches and that will pop up the editor again. And if you'd like to go into kind of more of an interactive mode, you can make sure that your hover states work correctly by uh, clicking on that little arrow icon and, and going into that interactive mode. All right, so we'll call that good. And let's assume that this is done. We've got the design approved for our experiment. We click on this um, changes here and we say, oh, yep, you know, actually we just changed the background color and uh, we don't want to change the text alignment, even though it's back to normal. Let's just delete that. <clears throat> I always recommend ch checking what changes are being deployed. That way you're not um, changing markup and changing styles too many times and um, kind of affecting page load. So let's click save and click done and go back to optimize where we can preview this experiment in web, tablet, or mobile preview. If you want to share this to a client or uh, associate, you can click on this link here where you can provide a unique link to the experiment um, as long as they have the Optimize extension installed, they'll be able to view that on just about any browser. And let's preview for web. So we'll click on web preview. And we'll notice that it'll take just a moment to load up this experiment here where we can make sure. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is interesting, right? This button color did not change. So let's figure out why. Let's go back to the experiment and click on the editor again and we'll go back to see if the changes are completed and sure enough they are so what we probably have is a issue with the, the style sheets this is a, a case that happens if you have a, a form or something that's pretty that may take dominance in terms of styling and this is where it's really helpful to have a front-end developer to go in there inspect the element understand why uh, the color is not being deployed on the experiment. And really what we should be seeing here is something more like this. So something's happening with this background color where um, the styles are not being changed through the Optimize plugin. And let's see here, inactive preview. Let's reload this here. Still incorrect. So not a perfect example. What I'd like to do is go back in here and test something other than the form just to get an idea if I'm just, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, which is hopefully not the case. Let's go back here to the text and change this text color to, I don't know, let's call it red, yellow, something like that. Okay, kind of a mustard yellow there. Click save, click done. And go back once again, make sure that all these changes go through. Done. And let's go ahead and preview. Gotcha. So as you see, the text changed. However, the button that we turned blue did not change. That's again, probably a styling issue where we may have an important tag uh, within the class of this button or form. Um, you'll run into these issues from time to time and that's where it's really helpful to have a partner to come in, a front end developer to go in there, uh, look at the markup and understand why these styles are taking precedence over another. Um, but this should give you a pretty good understanding on how to set up, optimize, and how to get rolling on your first experiment. If you have any questions on how to launch an experiment yourself, uh, feel free to get in touch with us here at Gravitate. You can uh, get in contact with us at gravitatedesign.com. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video today. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye-bye.